Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is part four of my 100% walkthrough for Deliver Us the Moon. At the end of the last video, guys, we arrived here on the monorail. So once we regain control of our character, we're gonna exit the monorail out to the left here. And I'm gonna go grab our first collectible of this chapter. So as soon as you um, exit the monorail, head down these stairs and you've got this hologram here. We're gonna have a, uh, we're gonna watch the hologram. All Copernicus One colonists, this is an evacuation. The reactor at Tombo has suffered a critical malfunction. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Whoa, calm down. Who sent you? We're here on official orders of the Lunar Council. The Lunar Council? Frank, do you see anything strange happening across the MPT network? Mm, I've got nothing out of the ordinary. Tombo seems fine to me. Perhaps you could explain a bit more first. This is for your own safety. The situation will be explained by the council when all colonists arrive at Moon Hub. So, MacArthur calls the shots now, huh? We don't have time for this. Just take them. What? Get your hands off me! Evacuation crew to MacArthur. We're progressing to stage two. Outpost crew and the package are on their way to Moon Hub. We didn't receive any word from the others at Reinhold, though. Good work, Evac. Wait for them to pass Outpost 1. Contact me again when the second evacuation crew arrives. Over and out. Okay, and from here we're going to go uh, and grab another collectible. Heading down this hall here, going to see this audio file. And as we grab this audio file, I'm going to head towards the next scannable item, which is down that ladder behind this audio. So we'll play the audio as we head to the uh, next the collectible as well. Here, Sarah Baker again. I travelled to this outpost from Moonhub, where I was sent to investigate the blackout together with my expedition partner. Moonhub was completely deserted when we arrived, and we were unable to bring the MPT back online. We got separated and lost contact. I'm traveling towards Tombo alone to continue my investigation. The only lead I have is that something has happened at the reactor facility. The entrance to the monorail station here is blocked, so I'll have to find another way to cross the landscape. It's worth a shot. Okay, and this here is the next scannable item, this big tire here, guys. And from here, guys, what we're going to do is work our way into a locked room to get the next um, Cosmic Marvler comic book or whatever you want to call it. And we need to gain access to that uh, vent up there. So you want to go over and grab this ladder. Just place it as close as you can uh, to that vent so that we can get close enough to the vent to use our laser to open the, uh, the latches. So standing up here, you should be close enough. And once you've done that, you want to uh, take control of our little buddy. And head inside, left, not right. There we go. Just follow this all the way to the end. Keep going, follow that up. Yeah, take this right here. Once you're out here, you can get the code on this piece of paper. 1881. Now you can also exit with your little buddy through here. You don't actually need to do this bit. Um, just showing you this is how you get back out if you need to. But we're going to be coming back um, through that door with our player anyway with this guy. So swap back to this guy and we're going to head up to the other side of that locked door where the, uh, the code was written on the wall there. On the bit on the piece of paper so up the ladder here
and over to this room here and input the code 1881. And just remember that code, well, you don't have to remember if you're watching this, but we need to remember that code for something else. Enter the room, over to the right over here is Cosmic Marvela, uh, issue number four out of six. I think it's called Dawn of the Colony. Make sure you press the, uh, the read button again, guys. All right, with that one done, we can head back outside. up these stairs here, over to this console here, and this is where we need that password again. So we're gonna put the same numbers in here, 1881. Trying to open the monorail door, it says it's uh, not working, and then you need to unlock maintenance, which is this door over to our left over here. So now that we've unlocked that, we can head inside and grab our next scannable item. These are uh, helium canisters. All right, and then head up these stairs. A much, much, as you can tell by the length of the video, guys, a much shorter chapter two. Up these stairs, and we're gonna watch the next. Helium package and Copernicus outpost one personnel have arrived. What do you call these again? Evac crew two is still nowhere in sight though. We've been trying to reach them, but we're getting no response at all. How should we proceed? Seal the door and make your way to Muna. Fuel needs to be in place before we arrive with the Tomboy evacuees. Sir, the other crew won't make it in time if I do that. They'll miss the launch. They know what they signed up for. Seal the door now. Yes, sir. Okay, once that is over, we need to take control of our little buddy again, go through this little uh, vent here and outside. We have a bit of a puzzle to solve here. Uh, we need all of these four lights to be blue. You can see the one on the far right is already blue. Uh, then there's cables. Um, we're turning on that tower. These cables are linked to these switches here. Uh, each one will uh, rotate the lights through a, bit, a, a set sequence. Um, and they're all linked to separate lights. It's it's really a, a bit of a tricky puzzle, but as long as you know the order, we're gonna click the second switch. It's pretty simple here. We're gonna click the second switch, then the third switch, and then we're gonna hit the fourth switch twice. And that will turn everything back on and we'll be able to go back and uh, use the monorail again, guys, which was the whole point of this chapter. All right, so once you've done that, you can then, uh, you can see us inside there. You can switch back to your character. Now, you could go and finish the level now, guys, but before you do, head outside where the uh, switches were. You're not gonna have any oxygen, but it doesn't matter, guys. We're not gonna be out here long. Head over up these little stairs here and behind the blue switches and we're gonna get our next scannable item for the uh, the final collectible of the chapter. And now what we can do is make our way all the way back to the monorail and ride the monorail to end the chapter. There we go, pretty simple, all the way back. That's gonna be the end of the chapter once this plays out, guys. I wanna take this opportunity to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy achievement guides and walkthroughs like this, please remember to go support me over on Patreon. You can become a member of Aussie's Army there for just $1, guys. Uh, also, I do live stream over on Twitch, so please come and say good day over on Twitch as well. 
and don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe, of course. That's what all the good YouTubers say, isn't it? Anyway, there we are, guys. Thanks again. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed.